name's Dave, and this is going to be a very brief uh, tutorial. We're going to talk about namespaces. Namespaces. So you've probably seen this namespace keyword, and I named my project namespaces. So that's why you see namespaces here. That's the name of my project namespaces. So uh, I'm sure you've seen this namespace here. It basically, the, the tools in the .NET framework are divided up into namespaces. This is just how the .NET framework organizes all of these, all this stuff, right? So it's got all these, all these tools in in this framework. Okay, so the the .NET framework has all this stuff that that you can use for your for your programs. All these tools, all these data types, right? All these, all this stuff, all this uh, cool stuff. But it has to have some kind of way of organizing everything. You can't just have a, all this stuff, you know, jumbled together. It has to have a way of organizing it, and the way it does it is with the namespaces. And you can think of namespaces as sort of like a directory tree. Uh, it, it just, you know, maybe just a way to, to think about it. Uh, it's a general idea. I don't think it's it actually used folders. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but we don't need a technical explanation. Uh, just the general idea is, is similar to folders on a computer. You know, you have like my documents or documents, and then you may have a folder, a subfolder in that folder, and subfolders in that folder, etc. It's a way of organizing the data. It's the same same type of thing, same type of thing here. So it's just it's just a way that the .NET framework organizes all of these tools uh, that's that's within this framework. And when you create your own when you create your own project, it assigns it a namespace. This is something Visual Studio does. It puts your project, you actually don't have to do this, but it's a good idea and Visual Studio does this for you and you, you want to do this. So it, it, it assigns your project, your program, a namespace. So when this program runs on the .NET framework, which every time you click that button, it's running on the .NET framework, it puts it in this spot in this namespace, right? It puts it in this this space, this namespace. You know, it makes a little spot for you, you know, creates a little space for you and, and put it, it puts your stuff there. Right? So it's just it's just the way that it organizes all this stuff. So when you create your own program, by default it uses the project name. Whatever you name your project, that's what that's uh, it's gonna be the namespace, right? The name of your namespace. So the .NET framework will create you a namespace just using that name by default you could change that if you change it if you like so it creates you this namespace in the .NET framework and that's where it's going to put all your stuff so uh, so your program or this program is going to uh, it's going to put all the stuff for this program in a namespace in a, in a spot in the framework and which is called namespaces in this case and that's just that's what I named my project uh, so whatever you name your project, that's that's going to be the, your name, the default namespace, right? Uh, so that's all that is. It's just it's it's a, you're a spot in the .NET framework uh, where the dot where the CLR puts all your stuff, right? And remember, the CLR is, is the brains of the outfit. It's the brains of the .NET framework. That's the CLR. Uh, so it's just put your stuff, all the stuff for your program, in this spot. That it calls namespaces, right? That's all it. That's all it means. Uh, so what, what's up with all these uh, using? Uh, what's you know what's uh, what's up with that using? Uh, these are all namespaces. These are all namespaces. And note the the period. Uh, so you can think of these as like folders. Like uh, a drawing would be a subfolder of system. Uh, basic, probably not technically, but just the, the basic idea, right? Uh, so this is how it's organizing. Uh, what's what's the system is the main. It's one of the main uh, namespaces, and that has sub namespaces, if you will, uh, like collections and, and uh, the data drawing. So in this namespace drawing, there's all kind of stuff for drawing, right? In the namespace system dot data, there's all these tools and types, data types, for that have to do with the data, right? And the reason that we use these uh, usings uh, is, is is for a shortcut, really. Uh, it's just a shortcut. You actually don't need any of the usings. It's just a way you're telling the .NET framework 
what namespaces you want to use, what namespaces that you want to use, and and it gives you a way to it's it's a way to use a shortcut. Let me give you an example. It'd be easier to just give you an example. Okay, let's look down here. Uh, okay, I have I just have a form with a button uh, and the click event, just like we've done before. So I'm using the string builder, right? The string builder type. Uh, we, we've seen this before. Talked about it in the uh, the video on the .NET class library. So this is one of the many, 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 many types in the .NET class library. It's called String Builder. It's a way of building strings. It's a convenient way of building strings, right? Uh, so we're using this uh, String Builder, and it it resides in this this uh, yeah, grab the rectangle in this namespace System.txt system.txt in that namespace you'll find this type of this class this type right it, it resides in that, that wrong one Let me try that again it resides in uh, let me clear this okay bear with me bear with me there we go all right so you got to be patient Okay, so it resides in this namespace, right? System.txt. This is where this uh, this type string builder resides. That's where it lives in the .NET framework, right? So it's it, it's put in this this namespace, right? So what what this does is it allows us to not have to type all that. Let's let's uh let's go ahead and comment this out. I'm just going to comment that out. And you see now it's no longer, now we're getting the red squiggly. So what does the red squiggly say? The type or namespace, uh, name string builder, could not be found. Right, it can't find it. Where is it at? Right, it's looking, it's looking for it, it can't find it. Uh, and the reason is because we don't have this using. But now what we could do is type in the fully qualified system dot text dot and there it is, right? This is the fully qualified name, the namespace, fully qualified namespace, system.txt.string, right? So we really don't need this. We don't need that. This, the using just, it, it gives us a shortcut. It says we want to use, we want to use whatever's in this namespace, system.txt. We want to use whatever's in that namespace. We want to use stuff, tools, Types, whatever we want to use, whatever's in that namespace, system.txt. Right, we want to use that, and this string builder is in that that namespace, so we can use it without typing the fully qualified uh, name here. So if if we just uncomment that, and we can still use the fully qualified, but that's a lot of typing. Uh, you know, uh, so. We don't have to do all that type. If we do this, now we don't have to do all that typing. Now we can just type in it. Because we're saying we're going to use whatever's in this namespace, right? So now we can use whatever's in that namespace. We don't have to use the fully qualified uh, namespace, right? You could, but you don't You don't need to. So the, the only thing the using does is uh, it allows you to use the shorter syntax, right? You don't have to type this. You don't have to type system.txt. So every time you use a class within system.txt, you don't have to type system.txt, you know, whatever the, the type is, and, and class type, same thing. So uh, so that's all this does. So it just says use, we want to use whatever's in this namespace, right? So the namespaces are just a way that the .NET framework divides up all the tools. There are a bunch of tools and types and all kind of stuff, all kind of cool stuff in the .NET framework and namespaces that that is the way that it organizes all that stuff so that's it for namespaces and i'll see you in the next video